what's going on guys welcome back to another fortnite video today we have the patch notes for patch version 9.40 which is about to release and it's gonna be crazy because as you can see on the side this patch is gonna be huge so make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's go also don't forget to use code not body 40 on the item shop i mean of course but anyways guys welcome back to another video we have fortnite here in the background launching but anyways wait let's see we have the tactical shotgun get up close and personal with the new epic and legendary variants of the tactical shotgun but that's okay guys because right over here we have the patch notes and uh this update's supposed to be huge it's supposed to contain the brand new event so let's check it out and uh yeah the event leaks are gonna be insane anyways right over here we have the brand new shotgun which is gonna be the legendary tactical shotgun and i mean that's supposed to be really broken and really overpowered i don't know why they keep adding shotguns to the game honestly but anyways battle royale what's new tactical shotgun epic and legendary uh, the tag is back with an all new form drop and <laughs> drop in and try out the epic and legendary variant right now i mean that's uh, gonna be broken uh, really really broken i don't know why they're not adding new weapons i don't know what they're doing at this point but anyways new epic and legendary tactical shotgun we have <laughs> the 87 maximum damage i mean that's a lot one and a half shots per second eight shells headshot multiplier of 225 so basically one hit could kill you even with max armor wow dude like what let's get that calculator going okay so we have 87 times 225 okay it's almost 200 damage but not quite so that's fine, that's fine. Available from literally everything. Loot chests, supply drops, loot carriers and vending machines. Semi-auto sniper rifle now has reduced zoom while scope. That's interesting. Quality of life change to help improve the usability and feel of this weapon. Yeah, because it's not really usable right now. Combat shotgun changes. Reduced headshot multiplier to one and a half. Reduce the long range effectiveness of the combat shotgun again. Okay. Reduce the fall off curve ranges. Alright, so it's uh, basically all the range has been reduced from 20. Dude, they have the range from 20,000 to like 11. That's crazy. After observing recent changes to damage fall off, we decided to further reduce its long range effectiveness. And alter the curve to fall a bit more in line with other shotguns. Oh, same. Voted. Suppressed bolt action sniper rifle. Wow, they voted the suppressed uh, sniper. Why? That's so weird to change this patch. Unvoted the bolt action sniper. Oh, okay. So they voted the suppressed one and unvoted the normal one. All right, that's kind of cool. I mean, useless, but whatever. Bug fixes. Drum shotgun now has the correct environmental damage fall off. Okay. Fixed the bug in which a launch pad couldn't be destroyed by a pickaxe. Okay. Gameplay. Picking up an item that fills a stack and creates an overflow will no longer result in the currently equipped item being dropped. Instead of causing the currently item being dropped, the overflow will be dropped. Okay. That's interesting. So, yeah. If you pick minis when you have full stack of minis, it's going to drop your minis. That's a good change. That's definitely a good change. Players will now automatically... Use code not body 40 on the item shop. <laughs> Dude, okay, not that one. Okay, <laughs> pick up a consumable if it's already in their inventory and not maxed out. So if you walk through minis, it's gonna pick it up like ammo. Wow. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so you would drop, okay, the rest. You would drop the remaining minis if you go through and you're full. Okay, a new glider. So basically minis and stuff like that, like healing, works like ammo now. A new glider and harvesting tool have been added for Save the World Founder Pack owners. Hey, I think I have that. So where is... Is it ready? No, it's not. Unlucky. Hey, I'm tier 98. That's crazy. I need to play. Two weeks though. Two weeks is a lot of time. Alright, bug fixes. Bugs fixed an issue with supply drone boxes not being visible after players shoot down. Alright, there is a lot of bug fixes, which is nice. But let's check out competitive. New tournament, Xbox Cup. Hello? Xbox finally getting exclusives. Unless there is PlayStation Cup on the bottom. 
Uh, dude, 1 million in cash prices. So, game mode open to all players on Xbox One. Does not require reaching any division in the arena. Yo, same. So, that's basically like, oh, log into your Xbox One and try it out. Price pool will be disturbed across all server regions. Okay. July 20th. So, that's in three days. That's in the event day on Saturday for all players. What? What do you mean? And top 1,500 players from round one. Wow. So they're going to be doing a tournament when the event is going on. What a smart decision. Squats Cash Cup, July 21st, which is Sunday after the, the, the event has gone down. Squats game, game mode. Participation in this event requires players to have reached Champion League. Prize pool will be distributed across all servers. Single day tournament. All eligible players. Wow. So on one day. Okay. We're getting a one day tournament where all players. That's crazy. All players play and then top 100 squads from round one play. That's, that's going to be fun, dude. That's going to be interesting. All right. Players can now choose a flag to display on their career profile. The flag can be selected and changed from player's profile. After changing, selecting players cannot change flags again for 30 days. So we can open the Area 51 flag. Okay, that's interesting. That's a good change. That's interesting. All right. For teams of two or more players, the flag is chosen by the majority of the team. All right. That's, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. Performance. Improved server performance of zipline. Chuck Juk. Okay, dude. Clan performance of Chuck Juk. What does that even mean? Audio, improved footstep volumes, consistency, and change the volume fall off to logarithmic to make sound diminish more naturally. Finally. Decreased volume of few sounds. Okay, check splash explosion. Yeah, that was loud. Proximity launch. That was loud as well. All right. Uh, added a wall impact audio layer for close quarters combat as an additional warning that an enemy shooting a structure. You're on the opposite. Okay, that's interesting. Bug fixes, bullet impacts no longer silent on the switch. Okay. Escape menu and social panel updates. The input action would bring up. Okay, whatever. Mobile. Added the new edit form touch setting to enable disable editing from touches. Yo, that's gonna be crazy if you swipe and it edits. Bluetooth microphones. Wow. For voice chat. Okay. Whoever, like, playing on mobile and taking it super serious. Airstrike sh shots no longer create large polygonal outlines. Okay. Dude, that's so much bug fixes. It's almost all bug fixes. Creative, what's new? Kevin's floating island. Same. Build the floating fortress on the new island. And this is what it looks like. Alright, that, that looks kind of cool. I mean, yeah, you can build the loot lake house on top. Ball spawner. Play ball at Phys physics ba Ooh, that's an actual ball. Physics based balls to your world and create whole new slew of new mini game types and player interactions. Basically, puzzle games. I kind of like that, dude. More channel to triggers and receivers. All right, we've seen this already. Islands. Published islands no longer rotate. Okay, updated gameplay. My island settings. Environment damage. Player build only. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Building damage option, okay. Alright, alright, bug fixes, no issues. New epic and legendary tactical shotgun, we saw that. New galleries, Kevin Crater to the Air Vent Gallery, okay. Added more sidewalks to street gallery, alright. So basically, you know, more items to build with. Devices, number of available trigger channels to 24 and the number of available receivers to 30. Added ball spawner device. Player force multiplier, how much player will apply when hitting the ball. Okay, that's interesting. Added problematic manager device. That's kind of cool. I like that. New options to player spawn device. Okay. Friendly icon text. Okay, all right. Added new option to capture area device. All right, disable fog. That's interesting. I like some of these are kind of cool. They're going to make for some really good maps. All right. Wow, the, the bug fixes on this patch are insane. There is barely any content, actually. Most of it is just bug fixes. Save the world. What's new? Fortnite's second birthday. Oh, they're definitely going right on my thumbnail.
right over here. There we go. Definitely thumbnail material right here. Fortnite second birthday. Celebrate two years of Fortnite with birthday team quests and the hero. Dude, that's cool. That should be a skin in Battle Royale. Birthday Llama, I mean, of course. Open the birthday Llama. Bring with heroes and weapons from year one. Oh, yeah, they have, they announced this on Reddit already. Missions plus systems, so new missions. And uh, performance. Okay, heroes. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of changes, but they're mostly bug fixes. General, UI big bug fixes. Visualize sound effects. Okay, social. Text wrapping online channel. Okay, no issues. Okay, that's it. So that was the entire Fortnite update for 9.40. I expected more, but I think it's gonna be coming out with the new leak. So stay tuned to the channel. And I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching. That's a, that's a big patch. That's big patch notes. Just not too much content. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.